Okay, so in a previous video, we edited this picture and we picked these two boys up and we moved them over into the group. So this time we're going to do something um, a little bit trickier, just to, to just to show you what we can do. We're going to basically pop him in here, okay? And what's going to really help sell this is this hand here. If we make him settle in here so that this arm disappears and it'll look like this man belongs to this hand here so if if we weren't able to get away with that we would have to do something to try and rebuild that t-shirt and that's way beyond my level experience okay so first thing we're going to do as always we're going to duplicate the layer layer duplicate layer okay Alrighty, so that allows us to go back to there without uh, reopening the file if we really mess it up. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a rough selection with the lasso tool. So, okay, so we're putting those bad boys again, new layer via copy, layer via copy. So we have our own layer, okay? But if we now go in and do select subject, it's going to pick both of them up. So what I like to do, or what I want to do, is try and fool it that that's the only thing we want to pick up. So I'm just going to go get myself a brush. And my paintbrush is black. And I'm just going to come in here, and I'm just going to roughly... Make my brush a bit bigger... Try and paint him out so the software doesn't recognize him as a part of what we might like to select. So just let's see if that does it for us. So we painted that out. I'm going to select, select subject. And that's not bad. We've if I'd separated that leg out there, we probably would have done better. So let's uh, undo that selection and let's just paint that leg out a bit better. Just to see if we can get a better selection. So select, select subject. Okay, so it's not uh, giving us the opportunity to do that, but that's absolutely fine. So we've got our select subject. And it's done a pretty decent job for us. So we now go select and we do select and mask, which will allow us to refine the mask. Okay. So if we, again, we have our plus and minus up here. So if we do minus, we will detract from the selection. Oops. Let's try not to be too greedy. So I'm doing this in small steps, so if I need to undo anything, I can. And I'm going to just leave it at that for now, because this is going to be... I'm going to create this into a layer mask, so we'll be able to do some more refining on it in a minute. So again, we give it a tiny little bit of a feather, and we output to a new layer with a layer mask. OK. We click OK. Alrighty, so we can see we've still got some work to do here, but hey, it's a layer mask. That's the beauty. We can just now paint accurately to our heart's content. So let's go and get our... We've still got our brush painting in white. So we need to paint in black. So to paint in black, we just swap the foreground and background colors. I'm not going to be overly accurate with this, but let's um, 
Just swap colors and paint in his feet because we'll be wanting those later. Okay, we can tighten these, tidy these up in a minute if we need to. I'd like to give him a little bit more of his hand. Right, that'll do for now. We'll see what happens in a minute. So let's turn our background layer back on and we get our move tool. Okay, so let's get him looking like that arm is coming in there. And it's up to you to determine how realistic that arm looks. And then again, we've still got a bit of work to do there on the side of his head. So we'll zoom in. And let's go get our brush again. Make it a bit smaller this time. And again, we've got to change the color of our brush. Just blending that in there a little bit better. We can just lose a bit of his hair if we have to, but should really be using that feathered brush just to make that look a little bit more realistic, but when I zoom back out you'll be happy. So let's just zoom down, see if there's anywhere else that looks a bit odd. So get rid of that bit of his jeans from the previous image. shoes again then we need to swap our colors around just get a bit more of that shadow created uh, let's just zoom back out and do a quick crop done and that's not bad okay so hopefully you learn something there